84 million people traveled through Los Angeles International Airport last year, the fourth busiest airport in the world. Well, tonight you'll meet the CEO of LAX in charge of transforming our decades old airport into a world class aviation experience. Her team gave me an exclusive behind the scenes tour of how it's all coming together. Before LAX became the fourth busiest airport in the world, it was just a field in Westchester converted into a landing strip in 1928. Now, decades later, it's undergoing a $14 billion modernization transformation that's well overdue. Oh, Time for a face Yes, yes. <laughs> indeed. As, as I say, this is not your grandfather's airport anymore. <laughs> Los Angeles World Airport CEO Deborah Flint was appointed leader of this colossal upgrade in 2015, transforming LAX into the end-all, be-all of all airports. What's most important to me and what wakes me up every day is the stories of the travelers from Oakland, California, go Warriors, uh, or all the way to Beijing, Shanghai, Auckland. Flint has a major project ahead of her. Back in May, she supervised the massive effort to relocate 21 airlines among four terminals at LAX. So that is the steel skeleton of our future midfield satellite concourse, and you're going to get a close-up view oh, of exactly what that looks like. <laughs> CEO Flynn arranged security to take our CBS2 crew on an exclusive tour along the airport's tarmac for a close-up look at the brand-new midfield satellite concourse set for completion in 2019 adding 11 new gates to the mix. I'm standing in front of the 1,000-foot tunnel that will connect passengers from the Tom Bradley Terminal to the midfield concourse. Every detail of the design has been well thought out. Check out the roof lines on both buildings. They have a synergy together because they have the formation of a wave coming in off across the Pacific Ocean. While change is on the horizon, the past still serves a purpose, like the iconic theme building known for welcoming travelers to LAX since 1961. To me, it symbolizes the jet age and LAX being at the forefront of the jet age. The famous Encounter restaurant with its 360 degree views closed in 2013. And you're going to have a first hand look of how that is being transformed for our military. Next year, the Bob Hope Hollywood USO moves into the ground floor of the theme building, a 7,000 square foot state of the art center for U.S. troops and their families. So the food will be right here, uh, our canteen and our seating area will be right here, and they can walk in immediately, take a, a seat, uh, relax, get some chow. One of the biggest complaints from travelers is how hard it is to get in and out of the airport. Picking okay. someone up at LAX can sometimes be a symbol <laughs> of how much you care about that person, um, because, uh, you know, we are, breaker. yes. <laughs> but by 2023, getting to LAX might actually be enjoyable. That's because part of the airport's $5.5 billion landside access modernization project includes a two and a quarter mile elevated people mover with stops at a consolidated car rental facility and several new passenger pickup and drop off locations. There'll be car parking there as well and then beautifully anchored by two other components. One, the connection at long last to Metro and Metro oh, Rail as well wonderful. as regional bus transportation. CEO Flint credits the transformation of LAX to the thousands of employees who keep the airport and the projects running each day. Being here in charge of the fourth busiest airport in the world um, allows me to have a direct role in the stories and the outcomes from all of those people traveling. Well, the $14 billion transformation of LAX is set for completion in 2023. The new USO opens next year and is run entirely by volunteers. And if you'd like to help welcome our U.S. troops at LAX, go to cbsla.com for more information.